Hello G.I. Joe and 118 scale fans, this is the Human Mechanism. For many of us, there is a simple dichotomy. It's either G.I. Joe or nothing. After all, G.I. Joe has set the standard for what the 118 scale world should be. Lately, we haven't seen much from Hasbro in terms of retail. And with Daryl DePriest announcing a hiatus on G.I. Joe retail merchandise, other brands are making their move. And boy, they're putting their all into it. This is the True Heroes. U-53 Helicopter. Now, before we get to the helicopter, let's first talk about everything that comes with it. Included with the set are two figures. They're your standard Chatmay figures that we've seen in other True Hero sets. For example, the pilot was used for the True Hawk. And this guy, well, I've seen him around before. As usual, I think they're mostly placeholders for your G.I. Joe figures, but I will admit, they're getting better. Specifically, in terms of sculpt, paint applications, proportions, functionality, and even in character, especially when compared to earlier Chap May figures. For those of us who remember the generic figures by Chap May in the early 2000s, these guys are definitely a sight for sore eyes. Another item included is an accessory tree that is included with a lot of True Hero sets. As usual, the weapons themselves are too big for the included figures to hold, so you might want to repurpose them. Next, there is a stretcher. This will come into play later. Last but not least, we get this Willy's MB style Jeep. It's nothing too special, and like the figures, I think it's more of a placeholder. But there's definitely a lot going on here. The first thing worth noting is that the windshield can pivot up and down. So it definitely gets some points for attention to detail, even though it can't fold all the way in, or else it snaps off. It's armed with a front mounted machine gun, and what appears to be a Mark 19 grenade launcher. Towards the back there is a peg for the included figures to stand, as well as a hole, which suggests that a weapon can be mounted on it. So, you might want to experiment with turrets from other True Hero sets, or kitbash it with other brands. It's also worth noting that it can easily accommodate modern Joe figures. Now, we move on to the helicopter itself. Based on the Sikorsky MH-53 Pavlo, the True Hero's U-53 helicopter is, in theory, everything a G.I. Joe fan would want. This thing is massive. In terms of length and the size of the fuselage, it's about the same size as the AB-115 Shark. However, considering this is a helicopter and not a plane, its scale is more on par with BBI's Elite Force, and not of a typical G.I. Joe scale helicopter, like, say, the Tomahawk. The camera simply doesn't do it justice. These rotor blades are massive, and with no way of folding them in, they may cause trouble for shelf space. Like many of the larger True Heroes vehicles, there is a lights and sounds feature. Lights and sounds are always something that I could do without, but it was nice that they added it. For a helicopter that appears to be designed for transport, it is well armed. Two pylon mounted bombs are deployed on each side of the helicopter. The downside is that they are basically hollow shells. On the left side of the helicopter, a turret folds outward. Obviously, the peg on the turret platform is not meant to accommodate G.I. Joe figures, but you can make a modern Joe figure man the turret well enough. Towards the front of the helicopter, there is a Gatling gun, and under the chin, there is a rocket launcher. It works by sliding a lever back and forth, just like the mechanism on the G.I. Joe Ninja Combat Cruiser, or the True Heroes Battleship. Speaking of which, the U-53 uses the same rockets as the battleship, so, you have some extra ammunition in case any of the rockets get lost. The launcher is powerful, and I've had an instance where a missile easily went from one end of the room to the other. So be careful. The helicopter also comes equipped with a winch. The mechanism is overly complex in my opinion. In order to extend the rope, you need to push down on the button and then pull. I don't really know why it's like that. The stretcher can be installed on the hook, which can be used to carry a figure. However, for my Joeverse, I don't plan on using this helicopter for medevac. For me, the winch is going to be used for troops to rope down to the ground. Now, for the most important part of a vehicle this big, carrying capacity. The cockpit of the U-53 is made to hold two figures. Even though the space in the very front is not meant to place figures, you can easily place two additional men in a sitting position if you so choose. On the right side of the chopper, there is a station for a navigations expert. Now, we move to the back. Like the AB-115, the back opens and reveals a large space for storage. 
This offers plenty of possibilities for what this helicopter can carry, but in terms of vehicles, anything wider than the included Jeep won't be able to fit. That's really unfortunate. Especially considering the True Heroes Chinook, which is a much smaller helicopter than the U-53, could easily hold a vamp and other various vehicles. I would expect a larger helicopter to hold more. And without a removable top like the AB-115, properly posing figures inside the helicopter is going to be difficult. However, that shouldn't stop you from experimenting to see how much cargo or figures you can put back there. An additional thing to note is that there's a compartment on the left side of the helicopter. Even though it is not intended to do so, it can hold a small amount of weapons if you so desire. One small thing I would like to touch on is the absence of windows. It would be nice to have windows on Chatmate aircraft from time to time. Just a suggestion. But overall, the True Heroes U-53 helicopter has its fair share of flaws. But once you look past all the shortcomings, what more can a G.I. Joe fan ask for? What you have here is a large helicopter that is armed to the teeth, that's versatile, and despite what I said about its carrying capacity, can carry a fairly large amount of cargo. This is definitely a worthy addition to any collection. So, with that said, this is the Human Mechanism, and the True Heroes U-53 Helicopter has the Human Mechanism's seal of approval. See you all later.